YouTube and welcome to my 1K 1000 subscriber sub special where I am going to take your questions and answer them so you guys can get to know more about me or not specifically about me but um, what I do to make these videos in the background I have an amazing comeback that I did with uh, six cents 91 he actually um we weren't actually like um talking or anything but uh, it was still a good gameplay I, I was in a party with him and so we got some pretty good footage here for you guys me being the genius I am I'm an enderman and I just started mining down into a hole but uh, besides that let's get into the actual questions so um, this is actually on my Megawalls number 40 video in the description of the video I asked um, to comment any uh, questions that you have for my Q&A so I actually got about 30 or 40 questions so it's actually pretty pretty good I'm still have some stuff to answer uh, but uh, we'll start out with um, Z Braden's question what is your normal sensitivity and what is your normal FOV so um, it's really kind of generic or I don't know if that's the word to say what your sensitivity is because sensitivity is um, it's custom to your mouse that you use so I could give you my sensitivity but I don't know how much it would help. My sensitivity right now is 66, and my FOV is 90, but I don't know, the FOV might help you guys. You're gonna need your FOV at a certain uh, level for um, a question later on that I'm gonna answer, but uh, your sensitivity is really custom to how you like to play. I'd, I'd recommend that when you're in a game, you need to be able to turn your character in a 180 or not a 180 a 360 so all the way around in a circle without um without your character actually like your mouse going off of your trackpad so you're gonna need to be able to do um a 360 without your mouse going off of a trackpad and when i say that i mean it's like that means that you would be able to turn around in a fight if somebody was strafing you and still be able to continue fighting um without having to move your mouse around and miss a hit or two so that's um there's some general tips there. Um, uh, are you friends with Extra? Yes, I am, but we don't play a lot. So I'm not going to be doing any videos with them. Um, when you run while placing blocks, how do you place um, two blocks at once? Um, so to do this, um, like I said, you're going to need your FOV at about 90. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I actually have a clip here for you guys that I can uh, show you on a, just a survival world. You're gonna need your FOV on about at least 80, a 90 would be preferable. Because the way the FOV works, it either decreases the block size or increases the block size. And doing this, you can place more blocks under you because the, like, the module is smaller. So let me just show you guys like what it looks like when I'm running on 60 FOV and I'm running around it I can only place one block it's really hard to place two when you turn your FOV up to something like Quake Pro you can place more blocks because you're like I don't know how to describe it but you're just your character is smaller proportionately to the ground so you can naturally place more blocks you have to be able to click moderately fast but you should be able to double place blocks whether you can jitter click or not I personally can barely jitter click like you will rarely see me jitter clicking the only times that I jitter click is when there is um if there's like a group of people chasing me and I'm just trying to spam blocks as fast as I can I might try to like jitter click really 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 quickly for that moment but the reason I don't jitter click too often is because um I often like go crazy when I jitter click and I'll place blocks in random spots which you'll actually see in the video I was running from a hero brine and I was just freaking out and I was placing blocks anywhere everywhere just clicking as fast as I possibly could and I ended up placing a bunch of blocks in front of me and it almost got me killed uh, but anyways let's go on to the next question um hey bro do you play arc um i do not play um arcanist and that is because i don't like the style that arcanist promotes it, it's not like it's not a bad kit it's just when you're playing arcanist you you constantly have to block which means you're almost constantly block hitting and i feel like 
in modern day, like the meta, you can't block it and survive with Arcanus due to the amount of tanks that are out, like zombies, golems, pigments. If you block it, they'll just destroy you. You need to be able to strafe in order to beat um, a lot of tank, uh, tanky classes. And as you can see, I just TP'd right into inside of a block, which is actually a glitch. I think. I mean, I hope they fix that. But um, yeah, you, you can like um, you have to block it and. I d that's just why I don't play arc. It's just personal preference. Just I don't like block hitting unless I'm in a hole and it's like necessary. So yeah, that's that question. Um, 1K subs, huh? You'll get all seven billion people in the world tomorrow. It's not really a question, but thank you, Underboy the Under Team. Oh, MC asks, how did you start YouTube? What is your skin name? Why is your character blue? Um, how old are you? Why am I such an, a, a major league gamer orange? And how did I get so many subs? Um, so how did I start YouTube? I actually started YouTube about eight months ago. Um, back when I had my old computer, I had, um, it was a Windows 8, but it was not a gaming PC. It was a laptop. I got about the first video that I recorded. Somehow it is in like 8,000 or 9,000 views right now, but I was getting about 20 FPS in that video. That's not what it was actually like playing, but my the recording software I used it. Uh, I don't even remember what I used back then, but it was um, it gave me 20 FPS uh, when it the output came out. So I, I guess I just started like YouTube. How I just really like wanted to like be successful in something, and I feel like because I play like um, high pixel so much, and I I've seen a tons of other YouTubers be successful. And uh, it's just fun, like, getting to know a lot of people on Hypixel. And it's fun, like, it's just fun being a YouTuber. You get something to do. You have a reason to, like, go out and play. Um, and it's fun. And you get to meet a lot of other cool YouTubers, like, other cool people. Like, I've met, like, Sixth Sense. Um, and people like him over my time of being a YouTuber. A next question from Wahoo is, um, what is your skin name? I believe it's the Blue Knight. I'm not positive, but if you search it up on like a skin generator, like on Planet Minecraft, you'd probably find it. Um, why did I choose blue? Well, this is actually kind of funny. Um, blue, I, I don't know exactly the research behind this, but blue like stimulates the eye in a certain way, just as like in um, restaurants, you won't see a lot of restaurants have their walls painted blue. It's a weird science thing, um, but blue like generally attracts attention. And I guess just blue, like, suited my character really well, because, um, I just like the color blue in general, and after knowing that, like, information, I was like, well, I might as well do blue, because, I mean, a lot of other YouTubers, um, have their own kind of scheme, like, Sky does Minecraft, for example, he has yellow, Monster Lil, even if he doesn't know it, he kind of uses a lot of, um, I feel like he uses a lot of black and purple, um, but yeah, I just... I just kind of like the color blue, and after learning that, um, it just encouraged me more to use it. How old are you? You can probably figure out. I am a y young to mid teenager. I'm not like 20, but I'm also not 10, so you could probably tell um, by that. But to give you the exact age, I am 13 years old. I don't know how much that will help you if you're trying to hunt me down. But um, yeah, I am 13 years old. Um, and why am I such an MOG orange? It's probably hacks, most likely hacks. Um, how did I get so many subs? Um, just learning basic editing, um, doing like a couple collabs early on, like not necessarily like talking with other people because I don't really do that, but just playing with other people, you get to know them, you get to know like new strategies. Once you start YouTube, you'll learn how much um, of importance an intro is, how much you need an outro like I have where you can click on the video and it'll take you to the next one. Um, it's, it's a lot more important than you think. It's just learning a lot of basic editing and learning how to, um, just learning how to make good videos and commentate over time. Like once you learn how to do that, um, you'll just gradually, um, like get more subscribers and more people will want to watch you because you have better quality. You're going to also need a pretty decent headset and gaming computer doesn't have to be top tier but as long as you can get 60 frames you're good uh yeah so that's my um like that's how i got so many subs um what grade are you in 
uh, I just basically, um, said that, but, yeah, I am in the 8th, well, 7th grade, but I work ahead. Um, Hara asks, what is your least favorite class in Mega Walls? That's actually really tough, because I don't like a lot of classes, but generally, I just hate her canist. I don't know why I don't, I mean, I kind of said why I don't want to play it, but I don't know why I don't like fighting them. I feel like it just promotes a really, like, crappy style of PvP, and a lot of people are probably like, well, you play Underman, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just don't like Arcanist, and I just actually want to give a shout out right now to Mr. Diamond Miner 21 He just killed, like, six people. It wouldn't even have been possible for me to come back if, um, he didn't just kill all these people. He just killed, like, five people. With his strength, he was a hero, Brian, so he did an amazing job. But back to the questions. Hope I didn't miss out on every on anything, but Arcanist is my least favorite class, just because I really don't like the game style it promotes. How old are you? 13. Um, I love how you skipped when yellows didn't die to you. Not really a question. Um, what mouse do you use? I use a Razer Naga Red, Red Hex. I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but that's the mouse I use. Um, you could probably look it up. It is the 2014 Razer Naga MMO version. I'm not sure. It has the, it has six buttons on the side. Um, and it's red. It's not the Death Aider. It's the step up from that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, for your 1K vid, it would be cool. Blah, blah, blah. Um, why is your voice so sexy? Like I said, probably hacks. Um, I've been known for my, um, voice hacks. Uh, as I TP to this Enderman and probably make him rage so bad. Um, probably hacks. Um, Luke, should I get max HP, max shaman, um, or max Endy? That's tough. It really generally depends on your playstyle. This is Ultra Gamer 99 asking this. Um, it really just depends um, on your playstyle. HB is a glass cannon, which many of you know, so. If you like to just jumping into things and attacking, HP is the class to go. Shaman, you're gonna have to be a little smarter, but it's definitely better for, or what I think, like if you're doing 2v1s and they both have decent armor. Hero Brand's good if there's like a naked in the group, like uh, somebody with no armor or anything. But Max Shaman is good um, in general, and they can both hold, Shaman and HP can both hold, so they're somewhat equivalent, they're both uh, decent strafers, it's really just up to you, whether you like, um, uh, whether you would like the, like, the survivability of Shaman, or the damage of Herobrine, it's really up to you, um, or Max Endy, uh, Endy is a really difficult class to analyze, you really have to just be used to, like, pot PvP and stuff, to know Shaman, um, I mean, Enderman, excuse me. Um, I can't really give you any tips if you should get Andy. It's really just up to you. You can watch YouTubers decide if you like it. Um, when did you start playing Minecraft? I started two years ago. And how much wood can a woodchuck chuck if, wood cut, if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, you could probably chuck about four pieces of wood. Uh, average size pieces, but, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this. I was just freaking out right now in the actual clip, um, but thank you guys for watching, uh, this 1k Q&A sub special. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.